We're introducing the materials learning algorithm Smala. It is a groundbreaking software package that revolutionizes the way we predict electronic structures in materials. Smala is a framework for electronic structure calculations. It uses AI or machine learning and physics to compute electronic structure of materials. Electronic structure calculations, or density functional theory, is important for a wide variety of applications. From sequestration and storage of carbon dioxide to mitigate climate change, new material for batteries or fuel cells for electric cars, discovering new drugs for diseases, to name a few. Since the Nobel Prize was awarded to its discovery in 1998, thousands of research papers are written using electronic structure calculations. More than 20% of supercomputer cycles for the whole year at NERSC Supercomputing Center is devoted to these calculations. As humans, we always try to understand how nature is. We want to understand, can we design a new material? We want to understand what sort of material helps us. We want to understand how a material behaves at very high temperatures. When we do this, we want to study that at an atomistic level. And the calculations at the atomistic level are really, really expensive. Until now, a method called density functional theory has been the primary method for predicting electronic structures. However, its computational limitations have restricted its application to small systems. On the other hand, MALA leverages the power of machine learning to overcome these computational limitations. A few years ago, machine learning, or artificial intelligence, emerged as a technology option for societal needs such as image classification, voice recognition, and language translation. Researchers within Sandia and CASIS trained machine learning models to learn fundamental physics. MALA, on the one hand, gives us all of the information that we can get from very expensive methods like DFT. It tells us all about the electronic structure in the material, where the charge is, where the electron density is, um, on the other hand, unlike DFT, it allows us to scale up to very large numbers of atoms and it's really combining the accuracy and scale, having the best of both worlds, that makes MALA extremely useful. I think that the most important thing about MALA is that it enables us to do calculations, uh, make predictions with the same level of accuracy as cutting-edge, state-of-the-art um, density functional theory, uh, but at a tiny fraction of the cost. And so instead of being able to do calculations on hundreds or thousands of atoms, uh, we can do it on uh, millions of atoms uh, with the same level of accuracy. What we're able to do with MALA is we're able to take uh, new types of technology, hardware, uh, like GPUs, and we're able to accelerate these codes up to speeds that haven't been achieved before uh, while retaining this level of accuracy. MALA has achieved a measured speed up of 5,000 times and 17 million times projected speed up. This introduces a range of new physics that hasn't been previously understood um, and been able to be accessed through computational methods. We believe this breakthrough allows scientists to explore a wider range of materials and phenomena, pushing the boundaries of science and technology. This uh, problem is an important problem for material science, for chemistry, for biology. It, is, it has applications everywhere. And what we are trying to do is something that is foundational for all these fields by understanding the um, structure of atoms and how they behave at a very, very low level, but quite fast using the supercomputers we have and machine learning algorithms that we have developed.